please like like the video please subscribe and subscribe to the channel to get this one but the two channel the token is not the token record i like we need to power like the two channel the token so for this like this one because i am using the azure ad So uh, for this, um, to implement this SSO authentication, uh, I'm using the .NET Core MEC project to uh, so to generate the sim sample uh, application. Uh, but for that, I'm using this one uh, command. Command uh, by using this commands, uh, this command, I am able to generate the uh, sample project uh, in build some predefined code which is provided by the Microsoft. Uh, so I'm using the single org. So while generating, uh, I'm passing the client ID as well as my tenant ID and uh, what my domain, everything to communicate with uh, MSL library. And tell nothing but uh, to communicate uh, by using the MCL library to authenticate my application uh, by using uh, in the Azure AD without implementing any uh, login um, authentication process uh, in in my local. So I'm depending on the Azure Active Directory. Okay, for that um, we need to register our app in the um, Azure uh, respect to tenant. So it will generate the client ID. So I'm, I'm registering my URLs to redirecting uh, URLs while communicating with the uh, to use the SSO auth process. So I'm using the ID tokens. Uh, I'm following the hybrid um, workflow, hybrid flow. So this is the configuration uh, file. Uh, I'm passing all the uh, main and tenant and client secret and um, callback path as well. So once again, how you know that right? while uh, authenticating that one, uh, it will redirect to a Microsoft page or uh, respective domain. Uh, right now, uh, I'm in the Microsoft domain, so it will not get to a respective domain login page. Here, we need to provide our AD credentials. So once we get the uh, proper authentication, it will gen generate the base and uh, according to what the request headers um, you defined in your uh, configuration uh, in the startup file or program or CS file. So according to that request uh, type, so it will generate the uh, tokens, uh, uh, it will store the, some cookies in the uh, respective client browsers. Let me go to the practical. Let me create one sample uh, code block, some code project by using this command. So this is the code uh, using this uh, command. I'm able to generate a small uh, MVC if we define template. So if you go and see, uh, the, it will generate like this. So by default, it will um, uh, it will hold the these four libraries. I don't want to use these four uh, packages. Uh, I will use only uh, Microsoft uh, MSI library like a Microsoft Identity Web. Uh, I can able to uh, implement the SSO authentication process. Uh, I can uh, remove all this uh, web.ui and uh, authentication open, open ID Connect JWT barrier. These packages I don't want as part of this requirement. So I will get rid of these all packages. So in Pokemon file also we can get rid of all uh, dependencies uh, related to UI package. We'll remove all these dependencies. Uh, just we can add, we can customize our as part of the request. Uh, we can customize what kind of the response headers uh, you uh, request the headers. Like uh, if you want to uh, get the refresh token to long life, uh, leave the application should uh, login will maintain in long life. Uh, means uh, we need to use the refresh token. Right? So in those cases. Uh, we need to customize our configuration as part of the authentication uh, so it will generate the respect to refresh uh, as part of the request it will get the respect to refresh uh, tokens as well okay, let me go to uh, this is the sample code uh, let me go to the uh, already some code here let me go to the code part so uh, i have created uh, i know like uh, so if you go to the cs launch so this uh, i remove all the packages uh, except uh, identity web so it, it is as part of this template we are getting the old version so i have it to latest version 2.5 version so I got that issue uh, as part of this library. Uh, I got this issue, the secret uh, missing uh, this issue um, as part of the uh, this library 2.5. After upgrading 1.602 to 2.50, I'm facing this issue. The client, se client secret is missing as part of the request. Okay, to resolve this issue, um, so I, I customized some uh, configuration as part of the authentication. Let me add the code block. So I'm reading all the configuration and uh, I'm using the hybrid flow like a code ID token um, uh, as the response type. So it means um, uh, it will only get the uh, token, uh, refresh token and uh, to hold the application uh, no need to log in multiple times for the purpose i'm using the refresh token every time uh, uh, to maintain the user session uh, alive in the client side so let me execute this one so let me add some breakpoints as well here It's, it's reached the uh, this authorization code received. This event is uh, triggered. Okay. Now let me execute this uh, event. So immediately while while generating the token, uh, a response received event uh, to generate this event. On that before that uh, we are sending the token uh, endpoint request to generate the token. On the time uh, it's not carrying the client secret. 
to uh, that's why we are getting this issue we need to fix this issue by passing again we need to, anyhow we, we we are reading the configuration from the app setting the json file even though it's not somehow it's not uh, passing as part of this token invite request so again uh, once authorization code received as part of this unauthorized authorization code received event so i'm passing the again client secret one more time so now let me stop the application and re-execute So now uh, an authorization code received event is triggered. So immediately an token response received. It means uh, a token is uh, generated. Uh, means a uh, uh, request is went successfully. It generated the token as well. So if you want to see the request token, you can see the request token as well. So let me execute. So now I'm able to see here. Uh, it's on my, uh, I'm reading this one from that my AD uh, by using the claims and everything. Uh, like this, you can use this request token uh, in cash or whatever the uh, your uh, mechanism you are using. The login mechanism you can use this request token here. Uh, this is a uh, so this is the one approach uh, we ident uh, identified as part of uh, my research we can do multiple ways as well so if you have any uh, other approaches you can add on just let me know i can update myself as well. 